Welcome back to Spyro. We're still in the Winter Tundra. In fact, we only have one level done with Winter Tundra, so lots more to yes. do, which is why there's, we still have plenty of parts left. There's only four levels total in Winter Tundra, so it's the shortest world um, by far. I would assume so that do. it being the last world, though, the, um, the actual levels take a little longer to deal with. I would say so, yes. Yeah, there, yeah. I mean... I think Fracture Hills probably is the longest level in total playtime, but yeah, the the levels here are relatively long. Cloud Temples, I really like this um, this level. The design is pretty like generic, but still cool. I mean, it's kind of funny that they had two levels with a sort of like monastery type of. Well, this isn't exactly a monastery, but. You'll see, environmentally, it's pretty similar to Colossus. Okay. There aren't that many when kind I, of set pieces. When I, <coughs> when I consider the implication of a living creature being turned to stone and back again rapidly over and over, and the physical effects that might have on the creature being transformed, uh, it kind of makes me want to piss myself. So, um, yeah, that was probably unintentionally really creepy. Oh, if you love characters yeah, being must, turned to stone... Uh, it must suck, like, when you're turned to stone, you oh, just yeah. can't do anything for a really long time. Oh, yeah, that's terrible. Oh, it's the that worst. That sucks. Man, what if there were a game where your character were turned to stone, and you couldn't do anything? Oh, that would suck. Yeah, oh, man, the worst. Nobody knows what we're talking about, which is sad, that's but okay. whatever. That's okay. <laughs> uh, it's better that way. Um, anyway, so... Um, Oh my god, that hairstyle is fabulous. <laughs> you don't actually need to jump across those platforms, do you? No, I don't I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these enemies are really oh, not the the rams are cute. Or they're not rams. I don't know what they're supposed to be actually. They're not quite goats. Cuz we're goats in a different level. Um the they're purple things. guys, the purple guys are really annoying. And you'll probably hear them make their really annoying <laughs> Noises. Uh, you mean these guys right here? Yes. Do you have to kill that thing with a rock? Um, no, it's just easier, and I had a rock anyways. Oh, okay. Yeah, um. Are rocks. Can rocks kill any enemy, or are they like. Um, no, they can't kill any enemy. They well, can't I mean... kill big enemies, as far as I know, but I might be incorrect. It, it definitely can't kill any enemy. You know. Well, I mean, can it kill like both stuff that you could only charge or only flame? I, I guess. I've it's... never. I can't think of trying the rock on enemies that are covered in metal. I can't think of any instances where I did that. I don't. So I, actually I don't, don't think know. it. I don't think it would work. No, I'm not sure, but I don't think so. Hmm, okay. Well. The only exception I can... Th uh... But that's in the, in the third game, there are enemies that uh, have a me are large and have a metal covering on their front. So you have to either flame them from behind or you can shoot a small rocket, like essentially a stone, at them from behind. Um, but yeah, I've n I don't remember ever trying to hit them from the front. Oh, that that noise is so annoying. The little. Ha -ha. Well, that's why you killed them. So. Yep. <laughs> this level has very limited um, fodder to the the little animals that you can kill for health. So that's. Well, it's, a, the... it's a very straightforward level. So. Yes. Yeah. But it's just it's easy to take pot shots, especially from those little guys with the rocks. Oh, um, so what are we trying camera. to do in this level exactly, other than? Get Look the wands at... back. Okay. Yeah, the the wizards the wizards stole the wands from the guys with the fabulous Shantae hair. So we have to get Shantae's cousins back their wands by beating up the wizards. Oh yeah, the, the sheep got turned to stone too. I think that's really cute. Yeah, it's really cute to see something petrified and unable to move for the rest of its, its existence. It's adorable. I mean more, it's thematically cute because the, the other little like ram dudes got turned to stone and those purple things got turned to stone so yeah the sheep also got turned to stone wait why did i get hit there yeah <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I can't use that yet, because I haven't killed enough enemies. Why specifically 21? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. You know, one of the things that <laughs> is really typical of 3D games from this era and earlier on is checkerboard floors. Yeah, yeah. You want to know... Everyone's just ripping off Sonic. I think it's... Well, there's that. But it's also, I think, in a relatively simple texture that they can program and have it look good for this era. Like, um... I think it's a little more cynical than that. It makes it really easy to tell what angle you're looking an object at from. <laughs> well, there's that true, but, um... It does make it does. I do think it's a it's a hardware thing. Like it's it's an easy texture to make look good. Like even here, like the the it's not just blocks of color. Like you were looking at Bubsy or something. Like there's variations to the color on the checkerboards. Yeah. There. Mm -hmm. So it's um, it's more aesthetically pleasing, I suppose, than just like I don't know a flat one flat color. I guess. Um, yeah. I mean, it does help you determine what angle you're looking at things from, I guess, as well. But, uh, mm -hmm. Like, anything's better than Bubsy 3D, really, which is what I think. Honestly, I think of Bubsy before I think of Sonic when it comes to checkerboards these days. Cause, <laughs> oh, God, that game. <laughs> Wait, did Bubsy even have checkerboards? I think some parts of it did. Because, uh, like, uh, I, I, like if I'm, everything from Bubsy's character model to the levels was, for the most part at least just flat colors and yeah uh mario did some of that too but mario also did it in a way that looked nice <laughs> so uh. so there are trolls all over these towers so you know they're saying the trolls are saying things like spyro 3 is the best spyro i uh, know spyro enter the dragonfly is the best spyro game what if it is the uh, best spyro they, game they grin when you freeze them. So yeah, you have to you have to freeze them into blocks um, with the ice power, and then but you have to time it correctly so that they're in the right places that then you can jump on them. Uh, they are internet trolls. Oh my god, they they enjoy it when they when you block them. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> you're using. Da, 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 da. Oh man, we're using the ice power up as uh, season of ice playthrough confirmed. You also have Ice Breath and Enter the Dragonfly. Actually, Ice Breath returns as a permanent for the level gimmick in um, Spyro Derp. Uh, Spyro, Spyro Derp. 3. Yeah, Spyro Derp. <laughs> um, in Spyro 3, the level Frozen Altars, when you enter the level, there's a Ice Fairy that gives you the the power of Ice Breath, and you have to use that to freeze certain enemies um, and other things to get to certain places. So that's a lot of fun. But I liked it as a one level gimmick as opposed to some badly thought out thing for an entire game. Enter the Dragonfly. Enter the Dragonfly had the ice breath for the entire game. Yeah, so in Enter the Dragonfly, you have four breath powers total. Um, flame, bubble breath, which is, you use the bubble breath to catch the, the dragonflies that are the collectible in that game. Certain dragonflies are given to you, and certain dragonflies just run around in places, and you have to um, use your bubble breath to catch them. And then you have electricity breath as well. well I ice breath, not. so it's ice There's breath, bubble breath, uh, fire breath, and electricity breath. How do you breathe electricity? I don't know. You just rub really hard, like, you just drag your feet on shag carpet until you build up enough static, I guess. Uh, <laughs> that's one way to do it, I suppose. It's, uh, that game just does not sound, like, fun. Like, I know that it's, it's not fun, but, like, it doesn't even sound like, oh, look at how funny the glitches are kind of fun. It just looks <laughs> No, it, it can be. I mean, it, it depends. It's been a long time since I played that game. I bought it at too many games because I made bad decisions. Um, so I might I might have to desecrate my PlayStation 2 by putting it in there. Um, but, yeah, it's just... I mean, the problem is the copy I had... I heard this was something they 
like fixed in I don't know if it was later printings I heard that they were able to fix some of the glitches with loading because when I played the game it was like you know one out of five loading screens it would just hang and maybe it would just soft freeze like that spiral would be on the loading screen like flying into the level for like five minutes and I just had to reset it you know so that's that's one problem with it like the non-glamorous glitch is that things just took forever to load or they just froze on loading screens yeah that's that's not even fun this kind of looks no. annoying like they designed it so that you need the ice to get up here then you need to wait for the ice to go away to do what you came up here to do i suppose yeah. it, it they might expect you to take longer to do exactly. it exactly uh, yeah well, somebody here's got pro speedrun strats, and... I don't know about that. Don't say that. Someone will get offended. <laughs> Someone who actually runs the game. No, Spyro, Spyro runners are... I think they're pretty chill. It's not like... I don't think it's a super popular... Like, I don't know. It's, I think it's somewhat popular, but it's certainly not as, like, crazy competitive as something like Symphony of the Night. Um, or, like, Mario 64. Dragon oh, Quest 3. Ah. Dragon Quest 3 is competitive. I mean, I think in the uh, RPG Limit Break speed run, they said that Dragon Quest 3, obviously among Japanese runners, it's super popular. Um, well, I knew it was popular, and... but I didn't know like it was competitive because that's a game that's mostly like once you get the route down, down, people have been running that game for years. So I don't think that there's much route changing that they can do. It's mostly just how lucky you get with running away and things like oh this guy we definitely played this level because i remember oh, this did? guy yeah oh yeah he's great oh he's such a good secret agent why are there so many goddamn secret agents in this game i don't know <laughs> there's only three he's the last one wait was this around the time austin powers was coming out uh yeah. i don't know when austin powers came out this was uh 99 so yeah so you have to hide behind trees really well you know, where he totally can't see you uh, and follow him to his base. And you do have to keep after him pretty closely. Otherwise, like he'll he go away. through those doors. They shut on your face if you're too slow. It's a really good secret agent. <laughs> he's not even jumping. He's just floating up. Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> so yeah, like you have to follow him pretty closely. This part is super hard. Yeah, you he can't to... see you sticking out from behind the tree. Nope, nope, can't see you. Can't see your model. Oh, he saw me there. So yeah, he if you if he catches you, you don't lose a life or anything. You just just start he, over. He, he just says like, "This time you better not be sneaking behind me. My hideout is for members only." So if you don't yeah, want that, that people following you to your hideout, why do you fucking announce it when you're going there? He's a great he's a secret. secret agent. He's a great secret agent. Fantastic. You have to found the Patriots, Agent Zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This sneaking music, by the way, is great. I want this to play anytime I'm like sneaking around anywhere. Not that I would be sneaking around. I was gonna say, anywhere. is that a common occurrence? <laughs> yeah, industrial sabotage. Catherine does it all the time. See that? That's the tightest one where you have to. He's running in one direction. You have to run. Oh. <laughs> right behind him. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I misheard you. I thought you said that's the tightest one. For some reason, I thought you were saying that's the tightest or tightest from Final Fantasy X. So it's just like no. suddenly you're playing Blitzball for no good reason. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, so this is, a, this is a decoder, apparently. An orb. No, it's not. I don't think he, he doesn't know what he's doing. No, he doesn't. No. That's kind of like if if, he, if if you were to say, hey, here's a secret decoder ring, and you handed someone an apple. Pretty much, yeah. Drink more Ovaltine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's no point in getting like the, the chests and stuff on the way up here, because once you once you successfully follow him, you get all the stuff coming back. Can you not get up here until you finish the mission? Absolutely. Yep, the doors are the doors are shut. shut. They only and those doors shut behind you. They just Oh, that's a bad placement for a vase. Right <laughs> surrounded by bottomless cliff on two sides. There we go. Um They don't break yeah, if the, you breathe fire at them, do they? They just sort of nope. heat up. 
the glass the glass slash metal vases i don't know what they were intended to be but they're metal can't be, okay um you can't destroy them by flame breathing you have to charge you can destroy them by super flaming though actually but yes. you need everything to get the super flame so by the time you get the super flame there aren't any of those vases left so then how do you know that you can destroy them with the super flame huh because you can get the super flame power up in certain levels. Temporary. Yeah, you can get the super flame power up temporarily. Oh, oh this is this is weird. So you turn the w warlock into one of those things. Uh. Bow chicka wow wow. Lucky would know it all about that one. <laughs>